leasing a vehicle is still a pretty popular option these days. However, at the end of that lease term, many people don't know exactly what to do with that vehicle. And really, there are three different options. You can either sign a few documents and give it back to the dealership free and clear. You can trade it in for another vehicle, or you can buy out that leased vehicle. When you go to lease a vehicle, you're gonna be presented with something called the residual value, which is basically the predicted value of that vehicle at the end of that lease term. That residual value will vary based on a few factors, including the mileage allowed on the vehicle or the miles actually put on the vehicle, and of course the current market at the time when the lease term is up. Now, of course, if you like your vehicle enough at the end of that lease term and decide to buy it out, you're gonna to have to ask the dealership for the different options for buying out that lease. Now, of course, there will be a few variables when it comes to buying out a lease as well, such as the length of the loan term you can get, as well as the interest rate available on that particular vehicle based on the age and mileage. Now, even if the initial fees don't quite make sense to buy out the end of that lease, there are gonna be a few fees that you can avoid at the end of that lease term such as the vehicle acquisition fee, over mileage fees, or excess wear and tear fees. As I mentioned before, there will be quite a few variables to factor in your decision of what to do with that lease vehicle at the end of that lease term. So to get a clearer picture and a better understanding of what your options are and what it's gonna cost you in the long run, simply contact the dealership you initially leased your vehicle from and they'll take care of you.